Great. Hi, I'm Tony Waugh again with Main Access, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about the chemical program that goes along with the simple salt unit. So, the first thing that you're going to want to tell the customer is upon installation, they have the unit set up and everything's hooked up properly, the system's functioning properly. What the very first thing that they're going to add in is a 40 pound bag of salt. It'll differ on, on pools, but 40 pound bag of salt on most pools will do the trick. And what they're doing is they're going to add in that bag of salt and it's going to raise up their TDS level or total dissolved solids level. And what that's really allowing us to do is get a clear reading when you're testing for natural minerals or copper. So what happens is you throw in the bag of salt, it dissolves, it raises their TDS level, and then the copper ions from that chamber are being released into solution and gives something for those copper ions to latch onto. So then you can really get a good testable amount of natural minerals. With that, I'm gonna turn, turn it over to Dave O'Brien. He's gonna to talk to you a little bit about the chemical program. So what we're gonna do now is explain how we actually use the chemicals within the program. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the prime. What we do is we take the entire bucket of prime and we're gonna broadcast it over the surface of the pool water. You don't wanna dump it in one specific location because it will take longer to dissolve. So by broadcasting, it'll allow the product to go into solution quicker. When you do this, you wanna make sure that the pool equipment is running. You'll need at least 24 to 48 hours for this product to get into complete solution in the pool. So make sure you broadcast it because it'll allow the product to go into solution quicker. Once we have the prime into the, uh, the pool water in the, the simple salt chamber doing its job, now we just have to maintain basic pool maintenance. What that does, or what we're going to do is add shimmer. What shimmer does is basically uh, helps maintain a chlorine residual in the pool. What we want to do, again, is we want to either pre-dissolve in a bucket of water and always make sure you add product to water and never water to product. Once we put this product into solution, we're going to put it into the pool. What we want to do is put one pound per 10,000 gallons of water. That'll make, help maintain the proper residual of free chlorine within the pool. You're going to want to do this weekly uh, to help maintain that so you know the, uh, the residual is, is at the proper amount. On a bi-monthly process, we're going to want to use the Vivid. What the Vivid is, is again, it's the enzymes. And we're going to add the entire contents of the, water, or of the bottle into the water. Uh, this is going to help keep the organic uh, material uh, at bay and allow the, the system to do its job more easily. The last thing that we're going to talk about is the simple salt phosphate remover. Now, before we use this, what we typically want to do is have the homeowner bring in uh, a sample of the pool water. We will then make a diagnosis based on what we see. If there is elevated phosphate levels within the pool, which again is a food source for algae, we want to be able to remove that. The typical dosage rate for this product is 8 ounces per 10,000 gallons of water. Again, we want to make sure that the pump and filter is working uh, when we're adding this because it'll actually help uh, the product work quicker. When we add this product to the water, it'll actually grab the phosphates within the pool and pull it out through filtration. So we want to make sure that that is uh, running. Uh, obviously, running the pool filter uh, at least 12 hours a day is a proper way to do it. Um, but if the longer you run it, the better it will be for the water itself. And with that, that's a simple breakdown of how we use the chemicals within the Simple Salt program.